All right, so let's address this because it gets brought up all the time. A choice between eternal punishment or worshiping a God you don't believe in is not free will. And so many people try and say, it's not free if, if I have to worship him or go to hell. So are you not free in this country where you have to follow the law or go to jail? Free means you get the choice to break the law. Free means you get the choice to follow the law. If you think freedom is beyond that, go break the law and then tell them, no, I have free will. Because they're going to look at you and say, yeah, you do. And you made a dumb decision with your free will. Likewise, God is God. He gave you freedom to choose or not. People that say this are not defending their free will. What they're defending is their own authority. Because what they're really saying is, God has no authority over me. He doesn't have the right to punish me for breaking his laws. Which I find ironic because you have no problem submitting to any other laws that exist. And here comes someone saying, well, that's not the same thing. A finite crime deserves a finite punishment and not eternal punishment. But here's the bad news. Your crimes against God are not finite crimes. Your crimes against other finite beings are finite crimes. Because God is eternal. You decide to sin against an eternal God. Therefore, you will receive an eternal punishment. And we understand this concept even in humanity. Who you commit a crime against determines how severe the punishment is. I can commit the same crime to different groups of people and will get punished differently in each situation. Don't believe me? Go punch a random person in the face and then punch a federal employee. And if you try to punch the president or a king in the face, it's going to be much more severe. So if you commit a crime against the eternal God, creator of heaven and earth, how dare you think he doesn't have the authority to punish you for all eternity? And how dare you think that that means you don't have freedom? The fact that you're able to talk back to God means you have freedom. Because don't get it twisted. God can take that ability from you. He made Nebuchadnezzar uh, crawl on his knees and hands and eat grass. And the Bible says in the end days, every tongue will confess Jesus is Lord and every knee will bow. And I guarantee you that will not be 100% voluntary. God gives you freedom as a gift, but don't get it twisted. He can snatch it in a heartbeat. And let's be honest, if you spend your whole entire life cursing God and rejecting God, why would you want to spend eternity in his presence? He's going to give you exactly what you wish for. Complete separation from God. And the reason why people don't like the idea of hell isn't because it's eternally separated from God. You would love to be eternally separated from God because you spent your whole life trying to be separated from God. You don't like the fact that hell has nothing good in it. But here's the breaking news. The only reason you have the benefit of anything good on this planet is because God gave it. That means you're taking his gifts and you're spitting on him. And then you're angry that he's going to take those gifts away from you and you can truly be separated from him for eternity.